tutorial, we'll be installing some seat covers on a Yamaha G16. Now these seat covers will not only fit a G16, but they'll also fit a G14 through G22. There are a couple reasons why you would want to replace your seat covers. One of them would be this crack right here, so that the, the cover over time will fade, crack, uh, the vinyl will wear out, whatever it be. Another reason is because you don't like the color. So like, we're switching the color from this ivory stock color to this OEM quality tan color, which we carry in our store. For our first step, we're gonna to need to remove the 12 millimeter bolts that are holding the seat back to the bag attachment. All right, once we have the seat back removed, we're gonna grab a 10 millimeter and remove the two bolts that are holding the black plastic cap to the seat back itself. to the bag rack. Once we got the back cap removed, our next step will be to remove all the staples found here around the perimeter of the seat. In order to do that, we'll take a flathead screwdriver and just pry it behind the staple and pull it straight out. Now some of these staples will get stuck and if that happens, you'll just grab, grab some wire cutters and pull them out as well. So we're just gonna go around right now and remove all the staples. Okay, once we've got all the staples removed around the perimeter, next we'll just remove the old vinyl. Once we have the old vinyl removed, our next step will be to install the new vinyl on the cushion itself. Now if you notice from the factory, the indentions of the vinyl or the contour in the vinyl is larger at the top than it is at the bottom of the seat bed. So we need to make sure that when we're putting this new vinyl on that we attach it that way. As you can see, the larger piece is at the top and there's not as much vinyl at the bottom. You want to make sure this is very important. I'd hate for you to recover one seat with this at the top and the other one with it at the bottom. Once we've got the cushion placed into the vinyl, we want to make sure that it's even on both sides, which as we see here, it is. And then our first step will be to just roll the vinyl back and with the staple gun, staple your first staple into place. Once you have that first one, then you want to go to the other side and mark your second staple. Now, the, the following steps, we'll just run the staples down this top side here and then do the same to the bottom. Now I'll do the same to the top. Now when you're starting at the top, what you want to do is you want to pull the vinyl so that it kind of stretches so it has a really nice tight fit. Okay, once you're done laying all the staples and rolling the corners, you want to take something and make sure that all the staples are down around the perimeter of the uh, seat back. For the most part, I've already done that for you. And then our following step, just take a razor blade and cut the excess vinyl. All right, now that we've got all the vinyl cut, our next step is just to put the seat back back together. So we'll grab our plate. And as you can tell, there's no creases around the side, everything's flush. Now it did get a little bit dirty on this top side, 
that's nothing that this water won't take out. It's because of what we're putting this on, on the surface here. So what we'll do next is install this onto the golf cart itself. Do the same to the bottom, which uh, we won't show you, but it's the identical same process. And then we can enjoy our new vinyl seat covers. This concludes the install of vinyl seat covers for Yamaha G16. One thing we like about these seat covers is they're exact OEM match and they're made right here in the USA. Thanks for your time.